can't tell, we're not in New York anymore. We just touched down in Los Angeles, California. I got in at like 11 something and then I got to the hotel, drove for the first time and I'm here for like five days before we go on another little trip. I swear this month has just been, you know the TikTok that's like bus, club, another club, except it's plane another hotel another country plane like i love it i love this go 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 i'm living out of a suitcase which i don't love but that's what outfit planning is for so let me not forget to do my intro hi it's eloise if you're new here welcome we've got a fun los angeles vlog for you if you're not new here welcome back to the channel i'm excited for this week fun stuff is happening and we're in a new place so let's talk about what's on the agenda for the day it's currently 7.33 in the morning. I'm still on Thailand time. I keep waking up really early, but I kind of like it because I'm awake before the sun rises, before everyone gets up. The first thing I need to do is go get my nail fixed. I don't know how this happened. It happened yesterday when I was getting a salad, but I have an event to go to and I can't walk around like this. So I'm gonna do that as soon as the nail salon opens at 10. I'm kind of thinking maybe I just go to the gym now to get it out of the way. I have a fun meeting slash dinner later tonight. And then we're gonna take every day as it is. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. I have a car and I have to give you guys a car tour. This car is like the sickest car I've ever seen. It's electric, it's, it gives you a massage while you drive. It's so futuristic. We're gonna go see my college roommates who live in LA, which is gonna be so fun because I haven't seen them in forever. And I feel like it's kind of necessary that we go to Air One. I've been to Air One several times. I don't think it's worth the hype but when in LA, there are certain things that you just have to do. Winnie Harlow just came out with a smoothie, so do I really wanna spend $18 to get it? No, but maybe. Don't mind that I look so crazy in the morning. With that being said, let's just, let's just get up and get the day going. So remember that half marathon that I was training for and now I don't know if I'll be able to run anymore because I'm going to be in New York, that marathon. Anyway, I was running in Hoka's and I was posting about it on TikTok obviously and Hoka reached out, the power of the internet, to send me these ones. I haven't run in them yet. I've like worn them to just go on walks and I ran on them on a treadmill but you know, I'm much more of a black and white girl, so the fact that mine were like white and bronze really just didn't fit the vibe. But now we have, have some better options. Ugh. I am on this whole journey of trying to wear my hair out more because I have these little pieces of breakage that I guess is from wearing my hair in a slip back all the time. This is day three. Obviously, it looks a mess so I'm gonna wash it today but that's the current situation that I'm dealing with <sighs> I'm not bringing the camera to the gym with me but I just wanted to show you guys one thing I'm gonna bring my phone and take some footage I guess of what I do but whenever I travel I do the Soto method it's an app it looks like this and it has like all these different workouts and Soto stands for 60 on 10 off or something these workouts are so good you don't really need any equipment for them and i literally at the end of it i'm like <sighs> like such good workouts so if you're someone who's like on the go and or just like want to spice up your workout that's what i do whenever i travel because obviously when i'm in new york i like go out to gyms but they actually just opened up a studio ish in tribeca so you can take a class so i'm going to do one of their like 45 minute workouts maybe some 12 3 30 i don't know yet just gonna add a little bit of moisturizer to my face i'm kind of hoping that because i'm out of the cold again when i was in thailand i feel like my skin got a little bit better because it was just so moist and humid there like under my nose has been so bad and i kind of feel like it's gotten a little better okay got my water i'm gonna get my headphones i'm gonna go get this workout in I just got back. That workout was insane. Truthfully, I tried to film it and it just... Let's just say the quality on my iPhone was not 
great. So we're gonna try again later. Now I'm gonna go get my nail fixed because it broke. It's literally only 10.27 in the morning, but I'm putting this headband on to mitigate the mess that's my hair. Also, I walked out and didn't put deodorant on and I was like, ew. This was also one of the best purchases. Well, it was a Christmas gift, but it fits so much and it's so cute. <sighs> I'm also like, maybe we go to Air One today? I don't know. Deodorant on, smelling good. Let's go get the car. In my New York-esque outfit. All the essentials. It feels so weird to be in a car. I don't even know where to put everything. The way that I'm genuinely, I feel so old. I'm like looking at everything and I'm like, how does this work? Okay, directions are queued up. Seven minutes to get there. There's a wireless charger apparently in this car. I'm not sure. Oh, my phone's charging. Let's get some music and then let's get this show on the road. Just got my nail fixed. I'm feeling like a regular part of society again. It was super embarrassing. Now I'm going back to the car and I don't really know what to do because I have until 4 p.m. or 3 till I have to be somewhere. I'm also imagining all the future vlogs where I'm gonna have to like get in and out of a car. I just love that I can drive again. I love New York, I do, and I would never leave. But sometimes it's nice to just be in a car. And this one is so nice. Decided we're going to Air One to pick up. I don't even know what to pick up, but we're here at Air One on Beverly Boulevard. I just made a makeshift tripod because just left Air One. I made a friend in there, he's from New York, but he's been in LA for 15 years. I didn't buy like the stereotypical things. I really just bought things to snack on when I'm at the pool, which is I guess where I've decided I'm gonna go. I got mango, I've been craving mango ever since Thailand. Obviously it's not gonna be as good and it cost me $12 for this entire thing, but whatever. Pinch to open. Oh, that's smart though. Got a fat tub of this. It's so not like Tyler. Whatever. Um, and then I bought this. This, it used to come in a different jar. It is the most insane yogurt. It cost $9 for this thing. My friend had it, or my friend's parents had it in their kitchen. And every time I come to LA, it's the first thing that I buy at Air One because it literally is just, mm-mm-mm. And then I got a banana because I'm oddly craving a banana. Kefir? So now that this adventure has come to an end, let's go tan. The way that I was sitting out in the sun, not even for that long, and I have major tan lines. I'm not complaining though, because I feel better when I'm tanner. I had just used the new glow recipe watermelon tinted sun drops and i've never really used any glow recipe products before but i feel like it's really giving me more of a glow than i already had and now i have to film a quick little tiktok video in here and you guys know that i don't know how to multitask on youtube and with my phone so i'm gonna do that but i just wanted to touch base really quickly it's 2 10 i'm driving to the event at like 3 30 so that gives me enough time to leisurely film this video get ready not rush and then lauren wolf is also coming with me because she's with nexus too so we're gonna have a little girls jam in the car on the way to the event and you didn't hear it here but apparently sophia ritchie is the new face of nexus do i think she's gonna come crossing my fingers because she is mother so really have to make sure that i look cute just got finished getting ready, and now it's time to go to this event. OOT, my white set is from Dish. 
This bag is vintage. I'm wearing my little Hermes orange sandals. And that's about it. In the car, and while I was waiting for the car to get pulled up from ballet, the girl was like, wait, what car is that? It's so sick. And I was like, yep, it's a Cadillac. But I'm headed to the event. Currently says it's gonna take 45 minutes and it's 11 miles away, so it's giving LA traffic, but more time for self-reflection. I'm like honestly really scared. New York events I go to all the time by myself, and this isn't even by myself, like I know people that are going and it's with a brand, but I don't know, just being like around all these LA creators, I've heard, I don't know, people just say that LA content creators aren't always the nicest and that kind of scares me because I feel like in New York, everyone's so chill but i guess this is i just need to get used to it because surprise i'm moving to la in a month more on that later though but for now i'm gonna go blast my music again i was just giving you some food for thought now i'm getting back to driving They put my hair up into a bun. The woman that was speaking at the event was Sophia Richie Grange's hairstylist. Sophia was supposed to be there, but couldn't make it. And now I'm headed to dinner. I woke up so early this morning, but I'm low-key kind of crashing. That event really wasn't as scary as I thought. Sometimes New York events can be like overcrowded because there's just so many content creators, which is amazing, but it'll be like a lot. There was space to talk. There was room to move. It was great and everyone was super nice. And I saw people that I've seen online before, but obviously I just live on the opposite coast. So this time I actually got to see them. I'm really craving a salad. Like I really want shrimp and I want kale and I want something fresh and I want it now. Hey guys. Today is day two, or I guess it's day three. I don't really know what day it is. I checked out of my old hotel and just checked into my new hotel and I'm staying at the one. I need to give you guys a tour because this room is insane. Literally you walk in. This is like as bigger than New York apartments, but you walk in, little foyer, that's me. Like insanity. I also just love how rustic it is. This is my bed. I cannot wait to sleep in the middle and just starfish there. I don't think I have that nice of a view. Oh, it's just like a cute little courtyard. That's the street. But like, what? My bathroom, you guys? Let me just... It's not just here. I have a fat ass shower, a bathtub. So what are we gonna do today? Um, I just met up with one of my friends, Lauren. Lauren and I like walked around Beverly Hills. We went to Air One. Oh, she's such a soothing, just a soothing soul. Um, I have to go take new digitals at my modeling agency. So I figured that we could do that together. I'm just waiting for them to bring my luggage to my room so I can pack my bag. And then, then we're gonna bounce. Okay, just got here and I'm doing my makeup in the car. I'm not really doing that much, obviously, because these are just some little digis. I don't know if people like regularly do this. I don't know how because I'm like struggling and the lighting is also not the best. I meant to vlog and it kind of just turned into, I didn't have time to vlog because we took digitals and then I went outside and then it was a whole thing. But your girl just booked her first beauty editorial. I'm not even in LA yet and I booked. I booked an editorial. Not even just like a regular shoot, but like an editorial. Happy girl. All over my For You page are like the fruit riot. It's like the frozen fruit with sourness on the outside. And I wanna go see if I can find them. So I'm gonna go to one grocery store. If they have them, great. If they don't, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm not gonna lie. One of my favorite things to do when I go to like different states or just different places is go to grocery stores. I just feel like it's a fun little activity to do. Kind of assuming that they would be next to the true fru and I don't see them so leaving with nothing and I honestly really want to get a power nap in before we drive to my friend's house so oh, maybe we'll try again tomorrow but for now 
it's time to go back to the hotel. Hi, happy Sunday. It has been like two or three days since I vlogged. I feel like I was just kind of laying low and having a very chill couple days. So I took a couple days off, but this is my last day in LA before I go to tomorrow. Surprise, I'm literally living out of my suitcase and just traveling a bunch. So I figured we would just do one last day to complete this couple days in my life. I'm staying at my friend's apartment, my college best friend, so you guys get to meet them. We're cooking dinner tonight. It's gonna be like a very chill, just what I like love. So my friend Olivia is coming to pick me up. You guys are gonna love her. She's just like the best person ever and you're gonna meet Emma and Tessa and literally everyone. I think you guys have already met Tessa or somewhere along my vlog. Yeah, just like a low key Sunday. Also look at their bar and it's like a big girl bar. That's what's on the agenda for our last day and I'm really excited to bring you along. Also, I had a editorial shoot yesterday, my first. It's going in Gen Lux magazine, which is like, I'm gonna be in a magazine. And I feel like this is the first step to like getting to a Harper's Bazaar or a Vogue, cross my fingers, manifesting. And they straighten my hair. It's giving 30 inch Brazilian. But as I walk down to go meet her, I'll tell you what we did this morning because it wasn't anything crazy. We went to the gym. Equinox gave me a pass for the day. So I did a little 12, 3, 30. So I was watching the Vile Files. My new thing is watching podcasts, I guess, when I'm on the tread. And I couldn't see the button. And I was like, wow, I'm getting like really winded really quickly, but I don't know why. It's because I was doing 14, 33.5. And whew, was I sweating. And then I did Soto Method and did a little abs situation. Oh, and then we went on a walk from their apartment to Beverly Hills, the Air One. I got my overnight oats and it was super chill. I also don't know where I'm going right now. Just kidding. I figured it out and perfect timing because she's right here. We're vlogging today. Oh my <laughs> Please introduce yourself for the vlog. <laughs> Hold please. Hi, Eloise's friends. I'm Olivia. I'm also Eloise's friend. And, um. What are we doing today? We're going. Do you want one of these? No. What is it? Dried mango and, um. Ses sesame? sesame chips? <laughs> no, I'm good. We're going to Trader Joe's. We're going to Trader Joe's to find what? Oh, you take the lead. Is there a retouch setting? <laughs> <laughs> Do you retouch it? No. Maybe I should go on Accutane. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Olivia, and I'm taking my friend, Eloise, to Trader Joe's. I'm excited, let's go. Am I doing well? You're doing so good. Okay guys, you heard it here. We're going to Trader Joe's to find what, a potted plant? They have really good potted hydrangeas right now. Trader Joe's, $9.99, tons of colors, and they last 20 years. My mom got hydrangea pots from Trader Joe's like 20 years ago and they're on our porch. Well, off we go. I don't know if I'm the only one, but like I don't regularly shop at Trader Joe's for all my groceries. <laughs> but Trader Joe's <laughs> That's the best snacks of all time. Yeah, I kind of like the blue. The best snacks on it are at Trader Joe's. Someone once told me that there are two types of people in the world. They're the people who get their parts and after they're finished unpacking, bring them back to like the stand or whatever it is. And then the other type of person just leaves it, leaves it in the middle of nowhere. I bet you've never seen this variation. You're smarter than the rest. We just got back and something I've realized about being an adult is that there is something 
just like so rewarding and great about like gift giving and not gift giving in the sense of oh i'm buying you something super expensive but like gifts in the little forms so i'm obviously staying with my friend emma who's like letting me crash here it's great like obviously she would do it anyway but when i was at trader joe's i picked up some of her favorite snacks um because she said this morning that she was kind of out of snacks and i was like okay you know what this is an opportunity to just show you how much I love you and get you some things that I know that she loved in college. Not even tell her that I bought them, but just like when she sees them in her fridge or her cabinet, just being like, oh, yeah. And maybe it's like acts of service and not fully a gift. But one thing about Emma is she's the queen of charcuterie boards. She literally made us one yesterday. She's also the most thoughtful and just like nurturing friend that I have. If you're hungry, she'll make you something. I was sitting on the couch and I was like, oh, my stomach kind of hurts. And she was like, do you want tea? Like brought me over tea, just made sure I was okay. So I got some stuff to replenish her charcuterie. We've got the best crackers, these fig and olive crisps. They're so good with the baked brie, like baked brie baby bites, which is a snack that she showed me. So I got some of those. They have Scandinavian swimmers in like a little tub and we were all over here yesterday. So I figured this is a perfect opportunity to replenish all the ones that we ate. I also got her more cheese, everything but the bagel seasoning, or everything but the bagel dip. Literally, we ate all of her crackers yesterday, so replenishing that. And then, something that's so niche, salami. That's why I bought it at the store. And I figured I would spice it up, and I got the peppered one. And then, I took a bite of these, but I wanted to try them. The cheese sticks. The first time that I came here, they took me to Poquita Moss, which is one of Olivia's favorite places. The swimmers inside of their little... So we went to Poquita Moss, and now I've just been like craving Mexican food. You guys don't know this about me, or very few of you probably know this. I love to cook for others. Like cooking for others is a love language. Cue like Nora Smith, I like totally understand her. No, no one would know this from like the vlogs that I posted in college. But every Monday, I would make, basically just like make a menu, send it in our group chat, and like everyone would either thumbs up if they wanted in that night. And then like every day basically, or like every two days, I would go to the grocery store, make everything, and just like Venmo request everyone at the end of the week. But I was basically like the chef for our entire house. And we had some great meals, but Emma was always my sous chef. She makes, oh my God, she makes the best fucking guacamole known to man. I don't know what she puts in it. It could be her Mexican heritage. She just has that like extra, extra flair, but it literally beats every guac I've ever bought anywhere and ever gotten anywhere. I don't know what exactly we're doing, but we're doing some form of Mexican rice, beans, and something else. So I have to go to the grocery store later. She's at a Dodgers game and I'm playing house while she's gone. <laughs> I had to run to the nail salon to get my nails taken off because that design really was not me. And I also, I'm going to tomorrow with Kosis and one of the things that we're doing on this trip is like a 30 minute photo shoot situation, but it's all like sun-kissed, glowy, neutrals, etc. So obviously couldn't have any designs on my nails. And this is also just like so much more me, just simple. I'm also like really into this whole headband situation. Anywho. I feel like I just keep bouncing from grocery store to grocery store, but we're going to Whole Foods to pick up the necessary ingredients for Emma and I's taco bowl. We're doing shrimp, we've decided, Mexican rice, refried beans, all the yummy things. And that is the plan. I just have to say that I have been loving driving and I've been loving this car. And when I moved to LA in literally three and a half weeks, I want this car or I want an electric car because I'm not trying to pay those high ass gas prices and also save the environment, you know? So let's manifest that I, I get a Cadillac. I'm gonna go bump to Ariana Grande now. I just got to Whole Foods. This is actually the first Whole Foods that Emma and I went to a while ago when I was in LA. I've got my hot mess episode talking about breakups and now I'm about to just vibe out at the grocery store for a good like 20 minutes. grabbed my stuff i didn't do a full shop obviously because i just picked up the stuff that i needed for dinner it was kind of chaotic because i didn't know where to put the camera i was like 
listening to hot mess like there was just like a lot happening but all the things have been secured on my way home emma's coming back in like an hour and then we'll cook dinner We're back in the car. Last night was actually the perfect night. I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. We finished making dinner and then I was fast asleep by 9, 9.15. So we're headed to the airport for another adventure. We're ending this vlog exactly how we started it in the parking garage at LAX. I'm headed off to my next flight. I feel like this hat should give you a good clue as to where we're going next. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I'll catch you next week.